it was really exciting. My first start as a Buckeye, uh, I played decent. I could have played a little bit better. I gave up a third down in man to man, but we got the team win. That's all I'm worried about. Hey, what do you know about Hawaii? And especially, they've got that big receiver. He's six foot four, their leading receiver and stuff. He's number 14. You may have seen him on video so far. So, but what, do, what do you know about him in particular and their offense in general? Uh, I mean, they're a spread offense. I know they like to throw a ball, throw the ball a lot. And uh, I mean, I've only seen one game. And I mean, he's a big guy, but I mean, I'm confident in my team and yeah. confident in doing my job. What stands out about the way he plays, though? He seems to have pretty good top end speed. I mean, what just jumps out at you about him? Uh, I mean, just his height. I mean, he's he's a good player. I mean, I don't really look into that. I just look about like what his splits and like what he's doing on the field and just like how am I gonna work to work uh, compete against him? You know. Yeah. Yeah. As a defensive back, how exciting is it to know that you're playing a team that throws a lot? Uh, it's real exciting. I mean, it's just confidence in knowing that I'm going to get throws my way because I'm the new corner out there and just knowing, like, I got a chance to make a couple plays. It's going to be real exciting. Uh, how, how good is that quarterback looking at one game you saw? Max Wittick, he was, he was a transfer from Southern California. You probably already know that and stuff. But what what stood out to you about him? Uh, he got He got a nice arm. He throw the ball. Uh, they got a couple shots up to number 14 because he's a big dude. Yeah. And number five, uh, he's it's like 6'2", I think. So they have yeah. tall receivers, and he has a good arm. I'm just excited to see what we're going to do against him. You guys work so much on tackling. You seem to tackle really well in the game. I know Coach Meyer said you graded out as a champion. How far have you, how much have you improved as a tackler, Gary? Uh, I've improved a lot. Uh, special teams last year really helped me because I was on kickoff and punt. So I was basically, I was made it, or I was on field to make tackles and uh, we do tackling every Tuesday in practice and we're the best tacklers in the country that's why. And I know they make it tough for you guys to grade out as a champion first start grade out as, or second start I guess career start you grade out as a champion mm -hmm. discuss that a little bit. Uh, I mean my coach did a big role in that he prepared me and my team just helped me prepare and just building confidence and just knowing you're out there with your brothers for a reason that just builds your confidence and makes you play well. So as a team, how hard has it been to have one day off and then come out to practice, get reps, you know, scout this team? Is it has it been difficult? Uh, I mean, it's it's a challenge. I'm not gonna say it's really really difficult, but of course, everything is a challenge, and it's how you handle those challenges. And when you ready to when you're ready to work and you just want to win that bad, it's not really that difficult. What's